My name is Dale Vince. I'm the founder of Ecotricity. Here we are, Branding Thorpe. First real track test of the car. Tim from Multimatic is a test driver. has been going up and down at different speeds, starting slow, gradually progressing to faster speeds. And Nick from Avid has been hitting a button to simulate a belt snap. The purpose was to see what would happen to the car if one of the motors broke or a belt broke or something like that. Because there's a motor on each wheel, then it, it could have led to some kind of steering problem, torque steer. Uh, we're at Brunting Thought Proving Ground, and the big thing here is that they have a, a two mile long runway with, uh, I think it's about 60 metre width, so plenty of width if, if anything goes wrong to uh, not have a big accident. <laughs> we want to simulate what happens if one of the belts was to snap uh, how quickly we can cut the torque to the other motor to stop the car spinning, really. I would imagine it'll kick violently, and it, it's, it's how quickly the, the other motor drops out as to whether that's a full spin or just a little deviation in the course you're trying to take. We we'll start slow and progressively build speed. The first few runs have been good. Tim felt it wasn't as severe as it could have been. Certainly, as in his words, not enough to throw you out of the lane you're in in the motorway. At the moment, there's no real issues. There's obviously greater twitch under acceleration, but not as violent as we might have thought it could be. Tim is very keen now to go towards VMAX, well, velocity max, certainly over 100 miles an hour, just to see what the car, if it stacks up to what we predict on paper. We should get up to 132. Yeah, battery's holding out. The car's performing really well. He thinks he's got a crunch today, but he thinks he did um, 0 to 100 in 10 seconds, which would be pretty good. And uh, he got 200 and. 16 kilometers an hour. 134 miles per hour. He's taken it to its maximum speed. Uh, 0 to 100, very impressive, 10 seconds. So very pleased with that. That is Ferrari, you know, 355, 360 territory. And the batteries are standing up really well. And in between runs, they've just been plugging in the 13 amp socket, and it's been. <laughs> It's been adding several percents to the, the state of charge. We've got a fast charger coming in the middle of September, and that might charge the car in two hours. It's been driven hard today, and, and it's going well, and the battery's holding up, and the BMS is holding up, and everything's good. And another big, uh, big cheer for the engineering team, because it's all just worked. Yeah, good, good performance. We need to now do some underload in the corner and try left and right motors again, just see if it's more severe. The last test that we did was uh, was to drive around the corner accelerating full throttle and cut the power to the inside rear wheel. Uh, full throttle is, uh, is a bit of an idiot case. You wouldn't expect a driver on the road to be accelerating that hard um, at that kind of cornering speed. So up to what you would expect somebody to do normally on the road, it behaved in a controllable fashion. I think it's very good. It's, it's quick, it's light, it handles well. Yeah, it's good fun to drive. From here, the car's off to the paint shop. Um, we're calling it job done. We'll put it on the road proper in October. And then we're going to chase the um, land speed record, which is about 136 miles an hour for an electric vehicle in Britain. And we got our sights on 150, 160 or something like that. The car theoretically would do 170. How do I feel being a year behind schedule? I've always thought it was a shame, but it doesn't bother me. It doesn't keep me awake at nights or anything like that. You know, it kind of is what it is. And, and it was always a very ambitious job to try and build this car in six months. And a lot of the stuff was uh, cutting edge. And how do you feel about the budget? Oh, the budget, I think the Tories have gone crazy. <laughs> the budget's fine. <laughs> the budget's fine. It's taken us twice as long and cost twice as much as we thought, but hey. It's not a problem.